having a uh, body-worn camera combined with the mic radio would be uh, a benefit to the officer because it's one less item that they're going to have to carry. Twisting, jumping, running, all of these things are required by officers on a daily basis and to weigh them down with extra devices is something that we cannot do. We want them to focus on what's going on at the scene and not worry about the camera. We want it simple and easy for them to use. It's integrating best-in-class audio and video characteristics to optimize things like audio quality, noise reduction, and video performance. First and foremost, we wanted to ensure that the device was compact and lightweight for the officer to wear during the course of their day. It has a very purpose-built user interface designed to make the overall use, whether it be changing channels, talk groups, or interacting with the device, very simple and easy to use. If we have an officer that's six feet tall as opposed to an officer that's 5'9", and he wears a body-worn camera on his shoulder, he can articulate the camera so that it's aiming at the subject matter. We have officers running after suspects. We have officers wrestling on the ground with suspects. A body-worn camera needs to take that damage and continue operating. The reason the articulating camera is important is that it enables a number of different wearing positions on the body. With the display face out or the display face in, and different wearing positions on the body, whether it be worn center chest or on the shoulder. We want officers to get to the point that it becomes second nature to turn their camera on. But something could happen prior to that incident that the pre-buffering would then capture that incident for possible use of evidence in a criminal case. So the ability for us to program 30 seconds or 60 seconds of pre-buffering to that video allows the officer to get context around the fact of why they actually made that recording. We want it to be easy for them to be able to access their videos, tag their videos, and categorize their videos. After an incident that is not on video, there are multiple people that have multiple perspectives of how an incident took place. Many agencies are trying to get away from the traditional written report and are now wanting to use the SI-500 to go out and actually take a verbal statement and then use that as your evidence. We're offering customers a complete end-to-end -end solution that gives them the ability from capture to upload to storage and management to even sharing very simple, easy to use and intuitive workflows. A picture says a thousand words and it's true in our industry. And with a body-worn camera, you can't do any better.